Seers, Get Girl MD here to tell you about my sabbatical, my time off. So yes, I took off the white coat and took some time off. So sabbatical, interestingly, Wikipedia says some universities, institutions, and employers of scientists, physicians, and academics offer the opportunity for a paid sabbatical as a benefit. Um, so that people can dive into some other goal, writing a book, traveling extensive. Never heard of physicians getting a sabbatical, but it's in Wikipedia, so it might be true. In my Kevin MD article, I talked about companies that do offer sabbaticals, and it can be four weeks after you've worked there five years, things like that. Well, I went ahead and took a career pause. And during that career pause, it has been magic. So I've taken up gardening and I grew myself some baby peaches. They're not awesome, but they're mine. And I get to run out there and grab them before the squirrels get to them. I've got to read and boy howdy have I been. Rain, 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 this is any given week, reading all these books and expanding my skills. I've been certified as an executive coach and working on more coaching training through three different programs. Went to some resilience training, went out of state, which was fun to do a little bit of traveling. A traditional sabbatical, I would have thought I would have been going in the Mediterranean, but of course that's not an option this year, but went to Ohio and it was lovely. Worked on making a side business and videos including a YouTube channel with fun prompts. And I've gone out to eat lunches with girlfriends more than I've ever done. Um, and getting together with some of my friends who are Comic-Con fans and giving me really cool presents and uh, gifts as we celebrate our careers, celebrate what we've done for our patients and our communities together. And I'm looking forward to getting back to clinical practice in the next six weeks. In the meantime, I'll do some traveling, I'll do some other fun things. And I just wanna offer the opportunity that we could normalize sabbaticals. Sabbaticals come from the traditional Jewish um, heritage of uh, a Sabbath year for the fields to occur every seven years so that there's sustainability and that ultimately the field produces more and better from giving it that one year every seven years of rest. Taking one year off as a physician or nurse is probably not practical, but if we were to take off four weeks to three months and have a year's notice of knowing when someone is going to do this, we could plan around it. Planning around a planned sabbatical will be much less disruptive than a sudden leave of absence, than a sudden illness, than a sudden, I can't do this anymore and I'm out and what that it does to our teams, our patients and the system. So yeah, there, there is a cost. Yes, this is different. Yes, this hasn't been normalized. Wikipedia says us physicians have it as an option. I state that we're smart enough, we should be able to figure this out. Um, as I put in my Kevin MD article, if we can figure out how to put a heart in another human and make it work, we can probably figure out how to cover call for a physician or a nurse to be gone for four weeks or six weeks a year from now. And I think that this will result in better retention, better engagement, better burnout uh, scores. So we've all been through war. We're just asking for a leave, a leave of absence. We're asking to be human. We're asking for some recovery and some time off. And I think we're smart enough to figure it out. So um, these are some ideas to make our world a better place. Dr. Don Sears, Gut Girl MD. My goal is to stop the hemorrhaging of women physicians from healthcare. Have a fabulous day.